Hi friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to learn how to express the non-terminating repeating numbers in form of P upon Q. P upon Q, that is rational form or the fractional form. So, as we know, the 0 0.6 is non-terminating pure repeating number. Because the 6 is having bar, therefore 6 is repeated infinitely many times. So we have to convert this into decimal form that is p upon q. Sorry, we have to convert into fractional form that is p upon q. So the very first step is let x is equals to 0 0.6 like this. Okay, 0 0.6 bar. Then x that is x is equals to 0 0.6666. And so on. Then the second, this is the first equation. In second process, in the second process, you have to multiply both the side LHS and RHS by a number, by a number 10. Now why do you have, why do we have to multiply by 10 only? Because if you have noticed, after z after a decimal point, there is only one number that is repeating. Therefore, we will use a number having only one zero. So, 10x equals to 10 into 0 0.666 and so on. Let us simplify. 10x equals to now 0. So, one decimal will shift here. That is 6. Then we will get 6.66 6 and so on. This will be our second equation. Now, the very necessary step that you have to take. From equation 2, equation 2, subtract equation 1. So, this is our equation 2 that is 10x equals to 6.66 and so on. You have to subtract equation 1. Equation 1 was this x. Okay, so minus x equals to 6.66 so on minus 0 0.66 move on. Now let us simplify this. 10x minus x is 9x because this is 1 by default. Okay. 9x equals to 6.66. So you can simply do 6.66 and so on. Minus 0 0.66 and so on. Then you will get here so on will remain like this. You will get 0, 0 decimal point and 6.0 is 6. Thus you got 6. Now, the simple process that is transposing x equals to 6 upon 9. That is 3 twos are 6, 3 threes are 9. Then the answer will be x equals to 2 upon 3. Since, sorry, therefore, therefore 0 0.6 bar equals to 2 upon 3 to cross check your answer you can simply divide 2 upon 3 then you will definitely get 0 0.6 okay let us move to question number 2 so the next question we are having is 2.54 bar so bar is on 54 thus 54 54 54 is continuously repeating Again, uh, now you, I hope you understood, but still I'll explain you in detail again. So, let x equals to 2.54 bar. Then you can also write x equals to 2.54, 54 and so on. This will be the first equation. Now, this, now you have to multiply by 100. Why? Because after decimal point, there are two numbers. Therefore, you will multiply by two zeros. Thus, you will get 100x equals to 100 
into 2.5454 and so on. Now let us solve. 100x will remain as it is equals to two zeros. Decimal will shift two points. Then you will get 254.54 and so on. Give a bar. Now this will be our second equation. In third step, you have to subtract equation 1 from equation 2. Equation 1 from equation 2. So, equation 2 was 100x minus the first equation is x equals to 254.54 so on minus 2.545. And so on. Let us subtract this. 100 minus x is 99x equals to. Now we have to subtract these two numbers. So simply we can do 254.54 so on. Minus decimal should come up, uh, come by like decimal should be in a particular line. Okay. And then minus 2.5. 5, 4 and so on. So, so on will remain as it is. 0, 0, 4 minus 2 is 2, 5, 2. And you will get 2, 5, 2. Point zero, 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 it doesn't matter. Then x equals to 2, 5, 2 upon 99. Now you have to check whether this whole number is divisible by anything or not. So let us see whether divisible by 3. So 9 plus 9 is 18. 18 plus 1. Okay. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is divisible by 3. So you can either simplify this or it means you can either make this in uh, simplest form if it is told in the question. And if it not, if they haven't given like convert the answer in simplified one simplified fraction then no need so your answer might be this or you might you may also divide like two uh, sorry like two, uh, three sevens are 21 three eight is that 24 one carry three fours are 12 three threes are nine three threes are nine then again we can add nine ten eleven twelve okay we can divide by three three twos are six and 3, oh, 8s are 24, 3 1s are 3, 3 1s are 3. So, you got 28 upon 11. So, your answer might be this or this. So, hope you understood this example as well. Let us take one more example regarding this. Now, the third question is 0 0.47 bar. So, again, let if you follow this all processes then it is definitely sure that you will get out of marks let x equals to 0 0.47 bar that is x equals to 0 0.4777 and so on why 7 because the bar is only on the seventh digit that is unit play sorry yeah unit digit the bar is only on unit digit now uh, the now the next step is that multiply multiply by which number multiply by which number now yes you have to multiply by 10 why 10 because Though after decimal there are two digits, but only one digit is repeating. Therefore, multiply by 10. Then you will get 10x equals to 10 into 0 0.4777 and so on. That is 10x equals to one digit. So, one decimal will shift here. That is 4.77 and so on. This is our second equation and this was our first equation. Now the same process subtract second equation subtract first equation from second one that is 10x 
minus x equals to 4.77 minus 0 0.47 and so on. Okay. Now 10 minus x is 9x equals to now you can easily subtract 4.777 so on minus 0 0.477 so on so so on 0 0 7 minus 4 is 3 point 4 will remain as it is then 4.3 okay after decimal point there are several zeros but they don't matter then you got this now uh, see this is in decimal form we can convert this into fractional form so you can write 9x equals to 4 upon 3, 43 upon 10 then you will get 4.3 because after decimal point one digit is there therefore we will write 10 now you can easily do 9x equals to 43 upon 10 now see 9 is in multiplication with x now when it will move here when we will transpose it it will divide it will you know we, we, need, we need to divide it then you can see nine, divide by 9 we can also write this particular thing as 9x equals to 43 upon 10 and when, while dividing we need to do the reciprocal that is into 9 okay now you can simply do it x equals to 43 upon 90 that is 43 upon 90 means 0 0.47 bar so hope you are you also get the same answer like mine and if you are able to solve these all questions then it means all the concept is clear so thank you so much if you have watched this video till end if you like then please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and bye